<laughs> I don't mind you fucking her is one of the perks, but she has to understand the consequences if she disappoints me. Are we clear? Of course, Sonny. You're not getting attached, are you? A man of your caliber? You don't need to worry about that. I hope not. Way, come in, have a drink. You ever fuck some famous pussy, Way? Not yet. Maybe one day. <laughs> it's a trip, man, let me tell you. You drive by one of those billboards the size of a building, and you tell yourself, I'm going to her place, bend her over the table, and mmm, and then you do it. There's no other feeling like it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, speaking of stars, I need to go pick up Vivian. Let Way do it. You and I have more business to discuss. How about it, Way? Think you can handle a smoking hot starlet for the day? Uh, sure. I you know, as long as Ricky doesn't think I'm moving in on his territory. No, of course not. Here, take my car. <laughs> you take good care of my little starlet. Go ahead and fuck her if you want. Just don't damage the goods. Ricky sent me. Didn't he tell you? No, I was expecting Ricky. Everything okay? Everything is not okay. Is it wrong of me to want to see my boyfriend? Why do I have to put up with this? No, Vivi, it's not wrong. And you put up with it because Ricky loves you. But... But what? Since your boyfriend isn't driving, I get to sit in front. <laughs> Why are the bad ones always so good looking? I'm Sandra. What's your name again? It's Way. Ricky talks about him a lot. Oh, all nice things, I'm sure. And you're here to basically do whatever we want? Uh, something like that. What do you have in mind? Hmm. Do you have steady hands at high speeds? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I can provide references if you like. Uh, are you trying to talk him into one of those street races you always go on about? Deal way. You a gangster like Ricky? He's not a gangster, don't say that. Let's say I'm as much of a gangster as Ricky. Oh, that's too bad. Recently I've wanted to date a gangster. Well, maybe I'll see if I can find one for you. That would be nice. What's Ricky doing anyways? Why is he too busy? I don't know. Something with Sonny. Sonny? That guy's a creep and a perv. What'd he do? Nothing, but he tried. I was at a party on Wallace Chung's yacht. That's him, that's him, pull up. Hi, Alex. How are you? Huh. This is your new boyfriend? Not yet. Why? Are you jealous? Of this guy? Hey, so Sandra says you like to race. How about it? Now, if you win, I'll let you take the girls home. Way? I'm not sure how much that's worth. Okay, we race for the girls and a hundred thousand. Sure, I'll take your money too. You racing with the girls in your car? The extra weight will slow you down, idiot. Think of it as your head start, Alex, because you're gonna need it. Think of it as your head start. I'll show him. This is gonna be great! Alright, 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 Vivian and I won't talk.
that the police? I don't want to get arrested. That could be really bad. <laughs> Steady hands. Gotta give you that. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, get a room, you two. Oh, shit! The police! Oh, cops. Perfect. Time. Vivi, give Way my number and tell him he can take me out on a second date. <laughs> Sandra says you can take her on a second date if you want. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Thanks. Thanks for taking us out today. It was my pleasure. Yeah, sure. What's going on? My friend Katushka. She's gone missing. Nobody's seen her in a week. Katushka doesn't have a visa. She's... she's illegal. Girls like her go missing all the time, but usually they don't have anywhere to go for help. I'll check it out. Would you? Oh, thank you.
you're arguing with me on our anniversary. You're the one with the sore. You have a kind here. Kind of you to join me. Care for some tea? Lai Lai, yum di cha. Thank you. Tu Jin Sao seems to be getting very comfortable in his new position as temporary chairman. Too comfortable. I hear that he is already planning to make it permanent, should Uncle Po not recover. Um, Big Smiley will kill him before he'll let that happen. Indeed. And that would allow Lee to take over the Sun on Yi himself. But that can't happen. No, it cannot. Tu Jin must go. Dan Hai, he must not be removed by force. He must step down on his own, after which there will be an election. Why would he step down? Tu Jin likes heroin. So far, he has managed to control his habit. Dan Hai, anyone who indulges as he does, lives permanently on the brink of an abyss. Nah, I've arranged for the quality of his supply to improve. And now you will give him a nudge over the edge. Okay. How? He is an immensely superstitious man. Ho Mai Sun obsessed with feng shui. He cannot bear to have the slightest thing out of place for fear of the misfortune it will bring. And you want me to make sure his luck turns bad. Very bad. I like your style. I will. Hey, what's your problem, kid? Mrs. Cheng want you to talk to me. Hey, you broken noses guy? Mrs. Cheng said you were... She told me to tag along. Give you feng shui advice. Feng shui, ah! A lot of people live by it. Feng shui is huge in Hong Kong. You believe that? I've been spending a lot of time reading about ghosts in the supernatural. I want to make sure nobody I killed can hurt me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Goodbye, Mr. Chow. Have a nice day. Nah, right on schedule. He usually goes gambling at this time. Tu Chin loses money fast. We better hurry up. How we can do that gate? We'll find a way in. Come on. Okay. Neighbors? Yeah, hello? Who's this? We got a delivery for you? Really? My husband didn't tell me. He better not have ordered something stupid from the internet again. Wow. You got all kinds of skills, don't you, kid? Reminds me of myself when I was your age. That's salty. <laughs> I made you smarter, but probably not as tough. Hold the muscle, Dill! You lay low, me. Uh, I didn't even know I had a muscle there. Ah, it hurts like hell. Uh, maybe I'll get a massage after this. Hey, don't be creepy. What? You never heard of a grand massage? Like a real one, not a sex one. Happens all the time. Just as any professional athlete. <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> how's business? To be honest, son, yeah? Pretty damn shitty. Really? What happened? I've taken a break from the import-export gig. How come? Uh, something went wrong. I don't really want to talk about it. All right. Suit yourself. What the 
hell do you think you're doing? The boss's dog got out. We don't find it before he comes back, and heads will roll. Oh, shit. I haven't seen it. Now we can do that game. Wait here. I'll open the gate from the inside. Hell, fucking tell me to wait here. You're pretty and talented. What? I said you're pretty talented. Oh, okay, sure. You too, Salty. Hey, you want me to kick the door down? Hurry up, kid. I think I see a car. Wow, Sally. Will you look at this place? Man, if I were him, I'd spend my money differently. All right, Salty. You're the expert. What are we doing? I'll attend you, huh? We're fucking with his stuff to make it seem like there's ghosts that don't like him. What about those vases? Good idea. Maybe just leave four. Four is an unlucky number because the word sounds the same as death in Chinese. Ah! I know four is bad. Can we try something else? <laughs> He really buys into this hocus pocus shit? Uh, can't blame the guy. <laughs> Two chins got more money than taste. and unplug it. That'll freak them out. 444. <laughs> yeah, this could work. Oh, yeah. His phone say is fucked now. <laughs> Turn the piano so it faces the wrong way. I help, but I put my grand climbing over the wall. Hi la, my crotch isn't what it used to be. I'm at the law. Here, old two chin's gonna freak. Either he think goes fucking with him, or he knows his home is insecure. <laughs> hey, somebody coming. We better go. Mr. Chow, is that you? Anybody in there? What do we do? Just hide. Stay calm. Did they leave the gate open when they left? Anybody in there? Hey, is everything okay there? Looks like Mr. Tao forgot to close his gate again. I'm gonna get something to eat. You want anything? You ordering food from the Golden Koi soon? I'll be right down. They're gone. Come on. Gate here. Tu Chin loots his money fast. We better hurry up. It's like we're on camera. Oh, God, Tana. I hate how everyone got security cameras everywhere. 
Don't worry. I'll take care of it. So, uh, why do they call you old Salty Crab? Uh, well, there was this restaurant guy who owed me money. Couldn't pay. He told me I could eat for free at his restaurant until he paid. That way, I wouldn't cut off his hand like I normally would. Salt Crab was the most expensive thing on the menu. I had that every night for about a year. Sing Nina. So they used to call me Salty Crab after that. Oh shit, I think he's home. Get down. Those cards must have been rigged. I never had a game like that before. Never! Why, why did you stop me? It's your job to protect me, isn't it? Fucking rodents. All of you. What is this? Look at this. How can you let this happen? It's all gone to shit. Gone to shit. What do you want us to do, boss? Get out. Get out. I need to think. Chalaya. Mike, the guard left their car. Let's check it. Wait, wait, wait. Let's take the guard's car. Ah, damn well. I always wanted to get myself one of these. <laughs> one of these? <laughs> really? Ah, yeah, okay. Bad idea. You're a strange guy, old salty crab. Thanks. That means a lot to me. Woo hee ah! Hey, I have a delivery here from the Golden Toy. Hurry up. I've been waiting for you for hours. Nice work, kid. You got your salty style. I comes in. See you later, kid. Old salty style. <laughs> Hello. Wei. Miss Chang. How are you? Uncle Po. He's dead. We're making arrangements for the funeral. Things could get, uh... Complicated. Yes. I'll be in touch. Of course. Whatever you need. 